Richard. I'm Debbie. And we are Rich Beers Life Adventures. I've been through heartaches, I've been to heaven. I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons. No matter how hard my life would treat me, I'd always get right back up, never worry. Hello, welcome to Rich Biz Life's Adventures. Now, whilst we've been away uh, the last few weeks, even before Christmas, uh, I have noticed a small amount of water around um, the shell cubicle on the floor. Now, on closer examination, um, I noticed that it was a small crack in the shower tray, the dreaded shower tray crack. Now, I did buy one of them flimsy um, plastic shower trays that fits around your Thetford toilet. Um, now, yes, I would like to go and buy one of these pressed stainless steel ones that they make bespoke to your van and your layout and so on. I just haven't got them sort of funds. So I pulled the trigger and I bought another plastic shower tray, but this time I'm going to reinforce it with fiberglass or a resin of some sort, uh, just to stiffen up the walking area that you stand on. Uh, just simply fill in the little circles with um, an adhesive or a sealant is not sufficient. It still allows it to flex. Uh, and that flexing over a couple of weeks or months or years will eventually crack. And that's what's happened around the circle. It's just give a little hairline crack. Now, like I said, I did notice this way before Christmas and we've used the van a couple of times. And I've had a couple of attempts of just bodging it just to buy me a bit of time. And what I did is I drilled either side of the crack to stop it from spreading and I pumped all sealant in around there just to seal it up and then over the top of it I laid a, a vinyl cover just to protect it and, it, and it's worked it, it, it stopped it from leaking it just doesn't look very elegant and I don't like the idea of it just relying on a little bit of sealant and a piece of vinyl wrap so my next thing is to rip all that shower tray out Hopefully I don't have to um, break down the whole shell cubicle. I really don't want to have to do that. So what I'm going to use is a multi-tool uh, and cut around the shower tray. Because what I did is I put the shower tray in first and I put my hygiene board on top of it with sealant around the edge. Um, so what I've got to do is I've got to cut the shower tray um, and then lift it out. Um, and then with the new one, I'll cut it to the same size as the cut shower tray, drop it back in, and then I'll just add more sealant around the edge after I reinforce the shower tray. So that's my next thing. I'm going to get in there and get taking it apart. However, before I get started, I'd like to do a massive shout out to Mark and Allison from Do's and Drones. Um, if you haven't subscribed to them already, head over to Dudes and Drones. They do great videoing on where they go in the van, how they've built the van, why they've built the van, modifications they're doing to the van. Um, it's a bit like my channel, um, but they've got the addition as well. They do a lot of drone um, technology, um, different drones and different footages of drones and things like that. They're, they're really clued upon the drones. So head over to Mark and Allison, dudes and drones. But the reason I want to say thank you to them uh, we bumped into them at the NEC show and they did us these wonderful gifts. Now this is a little cheese board and they've engraved it with Rich Beers Life's Adventures and even managed to get a little crafter um, emblem on there. So that's the cheese board and then they've done us a chopping board as well. Um, like that. Um, they've done that. Um, done that for us and it, it seems too good to use I don't I really don't want to use it as a chopping board I think it's going to be more of an ornament because I absolutely love it but um, head over to them um, I don't know if it's as a business they want to do but if you hit hit them up um, they may do one with your logo or your channel on it or anything like that and they'll charge you relevant mm -hmm. price again I'm probably over selling this they probably not going to do that but if you ask them nicely, they'll probably charge you for materials and a little bit of labour and a bit of postage. What that comes out to is cost-wise, I don't know. But head over and ask them. Um, but yeah, how wonderful is that? I love that. Absolutely love it. And it's it's a really nice little um, 
addition to the van. We're going to hang them up somewhere nice, um, mainly as ornaments. I suppose I could use the blank side as a chopping board, leaving that side all nice and pretty. But anyway, Rich Biz Life's Adventures, like and subscribe. So let's get started on doing this shower. So this is my shower cubicle. Um, got a timbre door, which I bought from Magnum Motorhomes. Um, and that's the vinyl that I put on the floor. Um, it, it, it was just to protect it. And it was mostly um, this one and this one that had the crack. So like I said, I, I filled it with sealant um, in the crack and pumped it into the holes that I drilled. Um, and the same on this one. Uh, and then I covered it with vinyl just to protect it, just as a temporary bodge as to get us away. We had a few things we needed to do. Um, so I'm going to take it all out, take this door off, um, take that filler strip out, remove the toilet and um, then set about removing the shower tray. Um, filming is going to be a little bit tight, it is a confined space, but what I'll do is I'll put you on the suction cup and put you onto the hygiene board so you get to see like an aerial shot of what I'm doing. It's not going to be pretty under there, it's going to be quite manky. Um, I think it's been leaking probably longer than I think. So it's probably going to be a bit manky under that floor, but I'm going to do my best to dry it out. I've just kicked in the heat here, as you can hear. Now, to do the plug, I've got to get under the van. It is lashing it down with rain. I'm not looking forward to getting under there and doing that plug hole. But it's something I've got to do this weekend because I've only got a couple of weeks before we head away again. So, I'll get started. Right guys, so I disconnected the water, disconnected the, the, the wires for the flush. Now I'm quite happy with under there, that, that, that ain't too bad, you got a little bit of dark mould or whatever it is, gunk, shit, not shit. <laughs> um, now I expected to see some signs of that, so I'm happy with that. Um, so now I can set about removing the shower tray. It's cracked there by lifting the toilet out, but other than that, it's good. So I'll set about cutting that out, removing that, um, cleaning it up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the um, uh, mains heater going in here. I want to dry that out as much as I can under there uh, before I set about um, putting the new one in. So uh, my next stage now is to get underneath the van, which I'm not looking forward to because it's lashing it down the rain, drop my shower tank and um, remove that uh, drain plug because that goes straight into my um, shower catch tank for my recycling shower. So I've got to drop the tank before I can remove that. Um, and then I can set about removing the door um, I don't think I'll get it out without the door because it sits on the shower tray so I've got to remove the door that's no biggie um, I'll set about doing that right this is cozy isn't it right you're on the wall behind my left shoulder as you can see I'll put some silicon in these holes and this is where I've uh, attached these to the to the wall I've got a feeling I use some really strong adhesive on this as well which I'm not looking forward to trying to get off Hopefully, I just screwed it and was sensible, but we'll find out in a second. So get this one off first, uh, and then take that one off with it uh, as well. Um, I've got a feeling I just glued that to that, not that to the to the wall, if you know what I mean. So I dig this silicon out. Excuse me if my head goes in the way. Three rolls. It's actually coming out easier than I thought. Right, now we'll find out how easy this comes off. <coughs> right, I did use a strong adhesive. Oh dear. Oh Jesus. I was hoping... <coughs> that is strong. Oh, crap. I 
I really don't want to try and get that off there because that's flimsy. I think that'll break if I try and take that off. I ain't gonna do it unless I can get the bottom one off. All right, I didn't put any screws in that. So that's gonna be glued really well and all. So I think I've got more chance of getting it off the top than I am the bottom without breaking that rail because that that is that's the point that's glued to the shower tray. So that's gotta come off anyway. So I might as well take that on off as opposed to the top one. Because that's if I put a new shower tray on, I've got to replace this. So the only thing I could do is use a knife under there and hopefully cut that sealant. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Got my knife, couldn't find any new blades for it though. I must have them all at work. So I'm gonna be gentle with it. Um, I don't want to push too hard and cut through one the track and mess that up and two I don't want to slip and cut through my leg so softly softly catchy monkey I think once I get it going it will just come off I'm going to shorten that blade I don't really like it I don't want to gouge that into my leg yeah it's starting to come now already so yeah it's better starting to come now let you see so if I can work that all the way around I can remove the bottom of the door um, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a nightmare job yeah that's all right This is going to get real cosy now because I'm going to shut the door. Right. Oh, this is cosy, isn't it? Right, I just want to run the back blade down the, down the back there. Now, that's it. That means that shower door can be out. As you notice when I glued it I didn't put any silicon in that corner and I put a little hole in that corner as well so that when that's in the corner any water that runs down there and in around the back it, it can come back into the shower tray if you know what I mean if you put silicon underneath that or adhesive all the way around there that water can only sit in that corner it's got nowhere to go does that make sense so I didn't put any in that corner so when the water was in there it can come out of there and the same as if the water collects in there it could come out of that hole <laughs> so I put that hole in there so that any water that lays lays in that track if, you, if the van's that way it can come out of that hole and then down and run back into the shower tray does that make sense little hole in there I don't know if it's picking up so that's that So now I've got to get under the van. Alright guys, so I've been underneath, as you can see, dropped the tank. So now that should come out. I think I only put one nut on this, you know. I did I put two or is it just all the glue? Let me just go and stick my head underneath and just make sure there's not another screw on there. Um don't think I'd put two on it, but I'll go and check anyway. Hang on a sec. Right, so there is only one screw. However, I was undoing that nut, which is the the fixing for my elbow to go into because the catch tank sits here, and then that goes into the catch tank. So I was undoing that, thinking that was it, but there was another nut. So that's the one nut, but I was undoing that, thinking that was the only one. So now that should come out. Get down. I'm getting old and stiff. That should just come out now easy. He says, I've got Debbie here helping me now. 
or is she helping me or is she just come to inspect? Uh, inspect. Yeah. That's not as fair is it guys? God. Like I said, that was a tight fit. There we go. Looks a bit manky now, but there you go. So that's that out. So now I'm ready to remove this section um, and then I can start taking the shower tray out. But Debbie's just bought me a coffee, so I'm going to go and have my coffee first. Right. Back again. I'm just going to do the same thing here, I'm going to run a knife under this where I extended it, now this is all my heater pipes under here um, so they're all under there, I wanted the shower tray a bit, a bit wider, not being a small chap so that's why I put that there it should come off pretty easy, it's only like silicon down new blade this is blunt right right bare ass to china on that oh, right you know what if you didn't want that to come up it would have just fell off so good isn't it oh, right yeah I think I went a bit overboard with the old adhesive <laughs> still at least it didn't come off right you can see my heater pipes there. Um, there's a couple of wires that run below that. But the shower tray is far from coming out now. I'm not looking forward to the horror story underneath there. I think I might have to cut that there with my multi tool. Because that one is proper underneath there. Right, got this multi tool and it just vibrates and it should cut that plastic quite nicely. Confident, I've cut that all the way along now. Now I think it's just the silicon holding it, so I want to try and get that out without breaking it. Plus, the silicon all underneath this, so there is a lot of grab to it all. Really don't want to break it, but if it does, it does. Wow, there's a lot of grab there. Oh, this is a strong bit of glue there. Whatever glue I used, it's good. It is really good. Oh, see, I didn't want to do that. If it breaks though, I'm just going to have to measure. I just didn't want to do it, ideally. Oh dear. I hope you can see all right. for it if it breaks it it breaks it it's not that bad under there look considering it's been leaking it's all right see all the dampness on that wood that's wood that I put on there to stiffen this bit because that's higher than that bit so I've got to get that wood up off the floor as well it is what it is if it breaks it breaks and it's breaking Oh, 
it out. Oh. All this we just wipe down nice and clean. You can see my water pipe there from the toilet. And this conduit here is hiding my wires. So I'll redo all the, redo all the wood in here and fiberglass it. And so instead of having as much wood, I'll have less wood and more fiberglass. And that'll hopefully keep that all stiff. I hate working in tight confinements. So the wood's starting to release. It's still recording. Just turn you around a bit. So this is starting to release now. Oh yeah, that came off pretty easy. But yeah, yeah look at the state of that. Look, that's been leaking longer than I think, hasn't it? Yeah, it don't smell too bad though. It don't smell like it's um really bad. You can see where I round it all out to fill the fit the shower tray. So the next thing is then I'll get a blade, uh, get as much of this sealant off as I can uh, and then I'll give it a wipe down clean and then what I'll do is I'll set the heater going in here and dry as much of this out as I can. just doing some closer examination on this and when I stuck that wood down to the bottom of the shower tray I used windscreen glue now what it's done look it's reacted if it's picking up reacted with the plastic anywhere that windscreen glue is touched nowhere else just the windscreen glue and I think what that's done is it's made it brittle it's reacted with it look and it'll break exactly on that circle see where i put the circle of glue so that just shows you you got to make sure you use the right adhesive um, for these shower trays so i'm going to do some research as to what this is made out of and what adhesive is recommended um, and go from there because I don't want to go on fiberglass it and the fiberglass does it the same or even worse see look and where that adhesive is that it's really reactive with that glue and I should I bet if I pressed on there I don't know if it would break that out and I'll show you on another section as well here's another section that it's cracked exactly in that circle So I definitely think that adhesion has done something to weaken it and make it brittle, chemical reaction or something. Right guys, so I've got my new shower tray. I've cut it down to size and trial fitted it and it fits okay. Uh, I've cut a fresh bit of wood um, to fit in, in the base there. So that all fits nice. Uh, and I'm going to put holes in, in this, little like 4 or 5 mil holes, just for the resin to pour through. Uh, and what I'm doing now is I'm keying all this in. So I've got a scotch bright cloth and I've de-aid the flatter bits with some 80 grit paper. Not a lot, just to key it in and make it rough. Uh, and then I'm going in all this circle with this scotch bright stuff, um, just to key all that in. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll pour, pour my resin in there to fill all these little discs up. Uh, and then once they're filled, uh, hopefully it'll come over this bit a bit. I've got some fiberglass matting that I'll lay over there and make that all soak into the, um, the resin. And then what I'll do is I'll paint this wood in the resin. And while it's all still wet, I'll put that on top as well. And then I'll pour resin in 
uh, pour resin in around the sides as well so it, it should be all absolutely solid under there and there should be no reason for that to crack again spoke to Magnum Mutt Homes um, they said they've never heard of these cracking which I find a bit difficult to believe but I asked if it would be possible to resin it, fiberglass it and they said yeah that's actually a good shout uh, they said as long as you filled these with silicon uh, and then put your wood in it like I had done last time it should never crack but this one obviously did or the old one obviously did so like I said I'll resin it fiberglass mat in it, wood it and resin on top of that as well hopefully in one pour so that it all binds together as one lump so let's see how that goes <laughs> I've run out of resin at the minute but what I'll do is I'll let that cure off and I'll go and get some more uh, and then pour it in around this edge it would have been nice to have done it in one go so it's one continuous pour but I think because I painted this on the other side with the resin it'll bond to that other stuff in there um, and then when I pour it in there that's just going to seal that off and make it strong and then when I've put these holes in as you can see um, which when I pour it on the top it'll all flow through there and into that other one and also that other stuff is pushing into them holes keying it all together so fingers crossed this is all going to be proper strong see what I mean look if I lift that in the middle that's all starting to come out of them holes 
So what I might actually do, I don't know, I might leave that in the middle so it pushes it because it's creating a sag like that in the middle. So when it's the other way, it'll actually help push the water to the edge, which is probably more what I want. So I see how that goes. Just push that into the into the wood so it all binds together. That's exactly what I want. Right, we're back again. Next miserable wet rainy day so it's all on cured off nicely it's got some water on it now from the rain um I, these these are marks from where i put some chinese containers on it and a car battery on top of that just to weigh it down and squidge it all together uh, i put another pour of resin over it so what i've got to do now is i've got to sand these um rings back just so they're flat and um and go from there and then i can go about installing it so I've put some expanding foam in behind them pipes, put a bead of sealant around there and in the corner, bead of sealant along the front there and in the corner, bead of sealant up there, bead of sealant around where the plugs are going to go uh, and then some dots there. Uh, I haven't cut the hole in the shower tray yet which I'll show you now. I'm going to do that with this in situ and that glue that I've put around there will come around here. Uh, and that glue that I've put on the sides will come on here uh, and then what now I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bead of sealant around here um, and then that will that will fix itself down and I'll weigh it down so that it um, adheres really well in there so I'll get doing that now I'll put my sealant on and then I'll drop the shower tray into the cubicle sealed around the bottom still got to go up the sides again and that and then put that filler strip in um, I'll seal the toilet in as well when I put that in uh, and then I'm going to cut the hole uh, I've got a feeling it's not quite in the same place as that because it wouldn't quite meet the shower door so it's about that much difference in it so what I'll do is I'll go from underneath and drill it from the other side with the same hole cutter and then that'll just come out where it wants to. Um, it should, by rights, be there or thereabouts. But that's absolutely solid there. Now, that's I've got no fear of that cracking now. Um, okay, it might crack on the sides if someone was to stand on that. But um, you've got to be silly to want to stand on there. But I'm well happy with that. Um, still got the protective film on there that I've got to peel off so this mark here I ain't bothered that'll come off but I'm going to leave that on as much as I can I've had to peel it away from the edges um, where I've sealed it um, but I'll leave that on there for the time being just to protect it and um, yeah so now I'll get that strip in and then that'll be about it for this episode now I'll get that strip in now
Okay guys, so got the toilet back in, got the timbre door back in. The only thing I've got to do is I've got to cut through the hole for the plug hole. Uh, and that's about it for the bathroom. So I think that looks a bit neater. And when you listen to this look, no matter where you go, that is solid. So I'm quite happy that that should last me quite a while uh, and round the edges um, I've siliconed as much as I can as well when I drop that shower tray in uh, and then I pumped them round the back as well as much as I could just to stiffen up that flex on that bit uh, and as you saw when I painted the bottom I also painted the sides with the resin so that'll stiffen up the sides so I'm quite confident now that that is as strong as it's ever going to be so the toilet's all in, plumbed in, ready to go. Obviously I can't have a shower because the recycling side of it wouldn't work and the water couldn't go nowhere. But we're away this weekend, so the following weekend I'll get that cut in, but you don't need to see that. Um, the hole's already in the floor, I've just got to cut it into the shower tray. Uh, so the timbre door all works nice. Uh, yeah. I've got to put the door back on the the cassette uh, thing but other than that we're all good to go right so that wraps up our shower tray crackage problem fingers crossed that should last us a good few years uh, the way that that's being really solid now I'm really confident that that is going to last quite some time even with the adhesive that I put around under there um, it's it, what it was giving and that's fatiguing them little circles that are in there is fatiguing them and then eventually they were cracking uh, I got into Magnum Motorhomes uh, and asked them what uh, the plastic is that it's made out of and it's basically it's a polystyrene it's a high impact polystyrene it's not like the polystyrene you get when you buy a new TV or something like that it's actually a hard impacting high temperature uh, polystyrene so I did some googling of what resins I could use and couldn't use and the resin I used was um, compatible with high temperature, high impact polystyrene. Yes it wouldn't have worked on the normal stuff like I said with a TV, it would have it away. But this stuff, it was quite acceptable to use on that. Uh, and when I spoke to Magnum Motorhomes they seemed to think that filling it with silicon or an adhesive in them circles and mounting it to wood is suffice. Uh, and didn't seem to think they'd had an issue with them cracking as where I know several people that's had them crack on them uh, and when, when I suggested that I was going to fiberglass resin it with some fiberglass matting and some wood as well they actually thought that was quite a good idea so I've gone with that idea as you can see and fingers crossed it works so anyway if you like what you've seen please like please subscribe and please comment and if you really feel like it click that little bell icon and you'll get to see our future videos and on that note, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city lights.